What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer ready to deliver you our week five team builder here in the NPBF. We are taking on the uh, Birmingham Entes this week, coached by Logan in a rematch from week two. Uh, our, one of our divisional rematches throughout the season. Our next one is actually against the Glaceons, but it's way, way later on. Um, but we are here with the team builder, and I'll be completely honest with you guys. Um, our strategy worked perfectly last time uh, as to how we were going to beat them. Uh, it was just a matter of outwalling and beating down certain things. So, five out of the six mons are actually the exact same sets as last time. And I normally don't do that, but I know I'm going to have a very busy week. Uh, we're trying to get the battle done on Wednesday. Um, I'm actually recording this uh, Monday night before I go to my overnight desk shift. Uh... So, uh, we are going to try our best to uh, make it so that this match happens ASAP. So, I wanted to just get, get the team done with and over with already. So, um, my apologies if it's, you know, if it seems like I'm just being lazy or I'm, I'm underestimating my opponent. I am not doing that at all. I'm just, I feel very confident in my prep from last time, like extremely confident, that there really were no holes that I missed out on, besides not having hazard removal. So, that was the only change I really made, was a slight correction in that. But, um, and like a, a very, very minor correction in one of my EV spreads, but that was it. So, it's basically the same team as last time, but I'm going to go over it quickly again to kind of give uh, those who don't feel like going back and re-watching the Week 2 team builder uh, an idea of what's going on. So, his team to run over quick, uh, Garchomp as a Z user, Magnezone, Whimsicott, Venusaur, Ninetales, Alolan Raichu, Lapras, uh, Male Meowstic, Bouffalant, and the Mega Swampert. Last time we faced him, he brought the Swampert, Bouffalant, Lapras, Ninetales, Venusaur, and the Garchomp. So, uh, a couple things that happened last time, uh, we were able to burn the Garchomp by walling it out with our... Uh, Rotom and then just being able to paint split up on it. Uh, we were able to uh, eat hits from the Nine Tails with our Licky Licky. We were able to uh, beat down the Bouffalant with our Dust Noir. And we were able to... We actually weren't able to do anything with our offensive threats. All of our, all of our damage and anything that happened in that matchup happened because of our bulkier Mons. Uh, the only one that didn't really do anything was uh, Bronzong. Bronzong just didn't have the matchup, and it turned out to not work out in his favor. So, it's unfortunate, but um, Bronzong did, was the only one of our few mons that dropped and actually didn't end up doing anything in the game. So, we are here now with um, the five mons I feel are most useful and then a replacement for Bronzong that I feel can do um, better for us. Um... I don't feel like hazards are as necessary. Yes, they helped us against the Lapras and the Ninetales, but I don't feel like we need the hazards to beat those two Pokemon. I feel like we have a more than uh, stellar matchup um, without that. Uh, so I think we should be fine. Um, so the first one we're bringing, again, is our Ground MZ Weavile. Uh, enough speed to outspeed Whimsicott. We'll also outspeed a Scarf Magnezone if he brings it. Uh, Ice Shard for priority to take out potential Scarf Chomp if it tries to sweep. Or uh, to stop a Chlorophyll Venusaur if it's low enough. Uh, Icicle Crash to just smash uh, things like the Wounds Cut and the Venusaur as well. Uh, and just to have like a strong stab move. Uh, knock Off, again, just to spam against his team. Literally, his only switch ins to Knock Off are Whimsicott, which doesn't want to switch in on us. And the uh, Mega Swampert, which... Um, it's still taking a significant chunk of damage because this is a Weavile and it's going to hurt. Uh, and then we have the Dig for the Z-Dig to uh, potentially blow through the Magnezone. Uh, if we get the chance to use that, I think that'd be really cool. Um, so that's that's something we're looking forward to. Um, that's our Weavile. Next we have Urate the Rotom Wash. Uh, the only thing I changed about this spread is it's got the same defensive investment, but I took uh, 8 EVs out of its special defense because we really didn't take any special hits in the match. 
outside of an ancient power from Lapras. And unless he brings freeze dry this time on Lapras, I don't see us needing to take too many special hits. And if we do, like I have things that can take those. Like if he does have freeze dry, I have three other mods that could definitely take a freeze dry from a Lapras uh, without any real issue. So I did put those eight EVs into speed because this actually just covers for the potential of an adamant max speed uh, Buffalant. Um, I didn't have enough EVs left over because I do remember that this defensive investment allows us to not be too KO'd by Mega Swampert with anything. Like, no move he has can do over half to us. And I know that uh, Outrage from Garchomp does right around half with this investment as well, so we can just... We're pretty much free to Will-O-Wisp that as well. So that's something good to note. Um... Then we should have the leftovers to keep ourselves healthy, but now we outspeed Adamant uh, Max Speed Buffalant. Uh, if he goes Jolly Max Speed, well then that's fine. He loses a lot of power output from the Buffalant, and it could be very, very useful. Uh, Volt Switch for Momentum. The only ground type he has in his team is uh, Mega Swampert. Mega Swampert doesn't really want to come in on this thing because of the potential of getting burned. Uh, we have the HP Grass to take it on 1v1. We have the Will O Wisp to burn things like the Garchomp and the Mega Swampert. To stop them from being threats anymore, as well as the Buffalant, because I would like to burn that as well. And then Pain Split just to keep ourselves healthy. Next up, we have Natsu, our Mega Charizard X. We are bringing the special set again uh, Dragon Pulse, Fire Blast, HP Grass, and Toxic. Just max special attack, enough speed, outspeed a Venusaur outside of Sun. Um, so that'd be cool if we can get it outside of Sun. Uh, we can just click Fire Blast on it and nuke it, and make it disappear and it'll be great. Uh, I actually don't think it can do too too much to us e either in Sun. Like it might be able to do a significant, it might be able to do some damage but at the same time like it's, um, we are Charizard and we can definitely still take it on and in the Sun we'll be even better off to take it on because we'll be firing off Sun boosted fire blasts and that's not something he wants to take. Uh, we have the Toxic for things that might want to try to switch into us just in case. Um, and Zard doesn't really have many switch-ins on their team. Uh, if, if any switch in at all, like Swampert is a switch in kind of, but we are the special set, so we are running the HP Grass. Um, outside of that, he doesn't really have a switch in to Zard at all, so it'll be very, very interesting to see how that works. We have the Dragon Pulse just in case we have a chance to hit the Garchomp, and it's kind of just like a neutral stab coverage to hit other things with, uh, and then HP Grass for the Swampert, yada yada yada. We have Spook King, our Dustwire, Leftovers. Uh, we changed its ability from Pressure to Frisk this time um, because I do want to scout more uh, for his sets because last time I was very, very um, confused and I wasn't sure what to put in my calcs half the time. I was trying to really figure out what he was bringing. So I want to instead just not have to worry about that so I can, um, I can better deal with this team the way I need to uh, by just knowing what his sets are right away with Spoop King. So that's the plan there. And I'm very bulky, so I can easily pivot in and out on things like that. So I'm not too, too worried about it. Uh, I think Dustin Wire can be very, very helpful in this week. Um, Toxic uh, is very, very good to whittle down uh, some of his bulkier threats. Uh, can be really useful on things like the Buffalo, the Swampert, the Lapras, um, even the Garchomp if I don't get a chance to burn it, but more than likely I'm going to really focus on burning that thing. But getting Toxics on things aren't isn't going to hurt either. Uh, Shadow Sneak is nice for priority. Stop potential sweeps of the Alolan Raichu and the Meow Stick if they want to try to set up on us. As well as just being able to pop things if they start getting too low. Um, we have Ice Punch to hit the Garchomp because ice coverage on things is nice for a Garchomp. Then we have Haze just in case things want to set up on us and try to uh, sweep us, we can just haze their stat changes away, and now you don't have them, and now you're sad. But, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, next up, we have Tongue Game, our Licky Licky, our Ninetales switch in. This thing switched into Ninetales like a boss last time, and just wished itself back up to full health without any real issues. Um, last time, I didn't make a mistake, and I, I left own tempo on it as its ability instead of oblivious, which is what it should be, so that it cannot be taunted. So that is important because just in case he decides to bring Taunt to try to stop me, uh, this time with Licky Licky, uh, he won't be able to do so. Uh, we have the Wish and Heal Bell to uh, run this thing as a Cleric, so we can Wish Pass into a lot of things. Um, 
this is very important for keeping Dust and Wire alive because you notice Dust and Wire only has 293 HP. This thing's passing wishes with uh, 211, 212 ish HP. So we're basically bringing Dust and Wire back up from full. And if you look at the rest of our team, you know, that's well over 50%. Oh, I'm sorry, I spoiled. Spoilers, spoilers. You didn't, you didn't see that. You didn't see the last one. Spoilers, sorry. Um, but pretty much it's more than, it's well over half the HP of a majority of our team, so if we can pass wishes pretty successfully into certain mons, they are going to be much better off. So there's that situation. We have a very good mixed defensive set, worked really, really well to wall off that Ninetales and a bunch of other mons on this team. Uh, we have the Power Whip so we can nuke the Mega Swampert, as well as potentially getting some extra damage off on the Lapras, which is nice. And then we have Body Slam, just to try to get some Paras. Uh, body Slam Para would be nice on just about anything. Um, any of his faster mons specifically, especially if it's the Venusaur or the Swampert, because I don't want them being faster than me in, in Rain or Sun. So we can just neutralize that with a Paralysis. It'd be great. So, uh, we did take Bronzong off the team, because um, we didn't really need the Hazards, and it didn't really do anything but set up the Rocks last game, so... Um, we are actually are bringing Hazard Removal this time, because now we have Symmetry, the Cryogonal, a Hazard Remover that actually really has a good offensive matchup in this game as well. Um, we're bringing it Choice Scarfed, because this thing is faster than Garchomp, and I am running it with just enough speed to pace Garchomp. So if it is a Scarf Chomp, we can figure that out at some point, and um, we'll probably scout that with uh, Dust Noir. Uh, we can figure that out at some point, get Cryogonal in there on it, and click Freeze Dry, and now it's dead. Like if it locks itself into Outrage or something, or uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to go for an Earthquake or something like that, I can just bring in Cryo and say, fuck you, click Freeze Dry, and it's gone. Obviously I can't hard switch into it because Cryo's got no defense at all, but regardless, uh... This thing being faster than it's important. Um, Freeze Dry hits a lot of his team really, really hard. Things like Whimsicott, Venusaur. Uh, so especially the Mega Swampert because it is four times effective, so it's going to really, really hurt. Um, we have the HP Ground. Uh, HP Ground is there for the Magnazone, the Ninetales, stuff like that. Uh, it should do a significant amount of damage, significant enough chunk that I it warrants being added. We have the Defog, obviously, because the entire purpose of adding this mod to the team was to remove hazards. The one issue I had last time is my two offensive mods couldn't come back in after the rocks came up because of, um, you know, they were down in range of being able to die from it. So I didn't want to make them die for no reason. So I decided to, um, I had to finish the game off with some of my bulkier mods, which is, which like, it worked. It, it was fine. I just would have preferred to use them. You know, so um, we have that going for us. Um, and then the last move, um, I struggle on this. I'm not going to lie to you. I struggle hard on this uh, on this move. And I went with Solar Beam because, A, he has a Sunsetter. So that could be something that could be very used against him with the Solar Beam. And he has a Mega Swampert, which isn't the best switch in, but he has a Lapras, which is an amazing switch in to Cryogonal. And if he sees Cryogonal, he's probably going to try to switch um, Lapras in on us a lot of the time. So, if we can get off a Solar Beam, either in the sun or even just predict the, the Lapras to come in and go for the Solar Beam and still be able to hit it, we either A, force him to go back out into something else to take the Solar Beam, which, granted, he has several things that can do so, or we force him, or we basically force him to sack his Lapras. Because it does over half to an offensive Lapras, which is close to the spread that he brought last time. So, I think this is just really cool tech. If it works, I, I, I mean, to be fair, I'm going to be clicking the first three moves the majority of the time. But if I can get a Solar Beam kill with Cryogonal, that's some cool shit. So, that'll be it for this one, though. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, then, guys, I'm Poke Primer, signing off. Peace.